What's up, pack members? It's your leader, Spirit the Alpha here, and welcome to another video. So, this is a video I just felt like doing because why not? So, pretty much, this video is pretty much going to be me doing a brief ranking and discussing how I feel about the various movies throughout the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, just so you know, this is based on all the Marvel movies I have seen for the MCU. And specifically just movies that were included in the MCU. So as much as I love the Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield movies. Well, especially Tobey Maguire, I should say. As much as I love those Spider-Man movies, they will unfortunately not be included on this list. Because they existed before the MCU was even a thing. So, yeah. And then some earlier movies as well, like, I don't know, like Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance, and other Marvel movies like that. They are also not going to be included. But, you know, whatever the case, let's get started, shall we? Starting off with the original Iron Man movie. So, pretty much, I do think Iron Man as a character is pretty cool. Robert Downey Jr. definitely played him well, if anything, I feel like nobody else can play Iron Man but Robert Downey Jr. He's the one and only Iron Man to me. And overall, I do like his origin story, you know, pretty, pretty cool how, like, you know, somehow he used, like, technology to, like, just keep his heart beating or keep the, whatever you call it, shrapnel from piercing his heart or whatever. So, you know, that's kind of cool. And while this movie didn't have a true villain other than... I forgot what his name is, but, you know, he became the Iron Monger towards the end of the movie, and I don't know. I mean, yes, there was also the Ten Rings involved, sort of, but, you know, not really much else I could say about that. Now, watching this movie after watching some of the later movies, yeah, I forgot to mention, I watched a lot of these movies out of order, but it's okay. Pretty much, I, you know... I do think this movie is pretty good because it kind of explains, you know, how Iron Man came to be and, you know, what started the many, many armors of the iconic hero. So, overall, I admit it may not be my favorite Marvel movie, but I do have to say, I do really, really like it. I mean, it's a decent movie, which I do enjoy, so, yeah. Next up is Captain America the First Avenger. Now, I'm just going to say this right off the bat. I love Captain America. He has always been one of my favorite Marvel heroes ever since I first heard about him. And this was long before the MCU was even a thing. So, yeah, overall, oh, I think he's an awesome character. I think they chose a good actor to play him. And, you know, Chris, like, again, explains his origin, you know, like how he started off in the army. And despite being young... Ung he, you know, still wanted to pull through and, you know, in the end, you know, got the super soldier serum and became, like, an iconic, like, like, war hero, so to say, and, you know, so on, so on, and, you know, I think it's kind of interesting that this, like, movie takes place, like, I don't know, like, 70-something years before the current timeline of Marvel or, you know, when the Avengers took place or whatever, whatever you want to call it. But, yeah, like I said before, I'm just a big Captain America fan. And I do think the Red Skull was a good, good like, villain for Captain America. And it's also kind of cool to see Howard Stark, a.k.a., you know, Iron Man's father. Which is also kind of cool. So, overall, I say this movie is really good. I definitely recommend watching it if you're a Captain America fan. Moving on to Iron Man 2, and yes, I know, Iron Man 2 and Thor came out before Captain America, the first, first Avenger, but, you know, too late to fix it now. But whatever the case, so Iron Man 2 obviously just followed the Iron Man, like, saga, or whatever you want to call it, or not saga, but, you know, followed the first movie, you know, Tony Stark is, you know, Iron Man, and, you know, he's, like, much more free-spirited in this movie, it seems like, you know, much more focused on, like, just partying and having a good time and all that jazz. And, you know, once again, kind of, like, upgrading his armors a little bit more. I do think the Mark V, I think that's what one called, the one with the briefcase or whatever, 
that was a pretty cool armor suit up in my opinion. And, you know, I also think it was cool how this movie introduced War Machine or how they took, like, you know, the Mark II armor and, like, upgraded it to make it into the War Machine armor. Really cool, in my opinion. And then for the villains of the movie, Justin Hammer, for one thing, if you want to call him a villain, because I feel like he was barely a part of the movie. He was just kind of like a side character, in my opinion. But the true villain of the movie, Whiplash, overall... I don't know how I feel about Whiplash. I mean, like, I do think he was an interesting villain, but I just feel like that he wasn't really active much in fight scenes, considering he only, like, fought Iron Man on the racetrack, and then at the end, at the big, like, festival showcase, whatever you want to call it, where he fought on him and War Machine in, like, one of the Iron Man armors. But, you know, overall... Iron Man 2, I don't think it was the greatest Iron Man movie out there, but I do think it was decent for what it was, and I just felt like it kind of dealt more with, like, Tony Stark's, like, family drama more than anything. But overall, I think it's an okay movie, and it's necessary to watch if you want to understand some of the later movies. Moving on to the next movie, which is Thor. Obviously, this movie introduced the God of, Thun God of Thunder himself. And pretty much, I do think the Asgardian setting and the whole concept of Asgard is really cool. Well, and, you know, I just don't really know how I feel about this movie. I mean, like, I did enjoy it, don't get me wrong. But I kind of felt like most of the movie, it was mainly about, like, a god getting confused. Within like the mortal world. I mean and yes there were other. Things as well. Like, you know, like his interaction with Jane Foster. And then the destroyer coming to. Like earth or whatever. And you know. I just don't really know what to. Say about it. I mean overall. I do think it is a good movie. I was just a little bit confused. Considering you know like I saw some of the later movies. Before this one. And I think this is a good way to introduce the character. But I do feel like. Again this is more like a god. Getting confused by the mortal world. So yep. Overall though. Decent movie. Not gonna lie. Alright moving on to the final movie. Of the first phase of Marvel. We have the Avengers. Now this is my true. First MCU movie. Or my first true MCU movie. And I absolutely enjoyed it, considering the MC was definitely a major upgrade from the other movies I watched earlier. And I don't remember, I'll just go and say it throughout the bat, I don't know, or don't entirely remember which, my or what my first true Marvel movie was. It was either the original Spider-Man movie with Tobey Maguire, or it was Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer, which, by the way, that's a good movie too, if you haven't checked it out. But anyway, back to the Avengers. Overall, I do think this was an interesting way to like, combine all of the heroes that we've known up to this point. And yes, I did not include the Incredible Hulk in the, on this list because I have not seen that movie myself. Sorry. But yeah, overall, Avengers was a really cool movie. I think Loki was an amazing villain throughout the entire movie. You know, like summoning all those like creatures, the Chitauri, whatever you want to call them. Um, and, you know, causing a lot of destruction in New York City, and there was also a fair bit of humor in the movie as well. And overall, each member in the movie I really thought was good. Captain America was really good. Iron Man was really good. Hulk is always awesome. Thor, again, pretty good. And then introduction, or not introduction, but the tr first true roles of Hawkeye and Black Widow, also really good. So overall, I think Avengers is definitely one of the better Marvel movies in the MCU. And it's definitely a good one to watch first. I mean, sure, I recommend, if you want to understand some of the origins better, watch Iron Man and Captain America and Thor first. I don't think you'd need to watch Iron Man 2 necessarily, but, you know, if you want to, go for it. But, yeah. Overall, Avengers, really awesome movie. Love the fight scenes. Love the build up of the team's formation and all that jazz. So overall, total 10 out of 10 for the Avengers. Awesome movie. Next up, we're starting off Phase 2 with Iron Man 3. 
So this is a movie that followed the Avengers. And pretty much say what you want. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But for me, I actually really enjoyed it. If anything, I think it's my favorite of the Iron Man movies. I think, you know, the new Mark 42 armor is really cool. And, you know, obviously the whole concept of, like, you know, like, the Mandarin being, like, key throughout the entire movie only for them, or for Tony Stark to find out that the one he thought was the Mandarin was just a actor named Trevor. Or, so that's one thing. And, obviously, you know, there's other characters, too. Like, there's, you know, like, Pepper Potts, you know, who wore the Mark 42, or at some point, which is also really, really cool. Not the best armor for her, in my opinion, but still kind of cool. And then, obviously, War Machine becoming the Iron Patriot in the movie. Also kind of cool. And I also like this movie because, you know, it shows off pretty much all the armors that he had built up to this point. Tony Stark, I mean. Which is also really cool, seeing the House Party Protocol in full effect. And, now, this part here might get me a lot of questioning, but... For the main villain in the movie named Aldrich Killian, say what you want, but I personally think that he's an awesome villain. I mean, you guys can hate him all you want, if that's how you feel, but for some reason, I just really like Killian. Probably because I saw him in the show Marvel Universe Live, the original one, and since he was a character in that show, I thought he was cool, so, yeah. I mean, I admit compared to other villains, he wasn't that cool aesthetically but overall I do still like Killian personally and overall I'm going to give Iron Man 3 a thumbs up. I really enjoyed it not going to lie. Definitely my favorite Iron Man movie. Moving on to Thor The Dark World to be honest I'm kind of sad to say this but I actually don't remember much about Thor The Dark World. I know that Malekith and the Dark Elves are like the main Antagonist of the movie, and I know this is a nerf film where, like, Thor and Loki actually teamed up as brothers for once. And, you know, they obviously were fighting the, the Ether, aka the Reality Stone, for those who did not know at the time. And, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry I'm saying so little about this, but. It's honestly been years since I've seen this movie, and I just do not remember anything about it. I My knowledge on it has kind of faded. I mean, overall, I felt like it was a little slow-paced, but I didn't necessarily think it was a bad movie. So, unfortunately, that's all I'm going to say about this. I know that's kind of short, but... I am doing this list off the top of my head. I'm not scripting anything. But whatever case, that was Thor The Dark World. To be honest, I don't remember much about it. And it is a little slow paced. But it's not necessarily a bad movie in my opinion. Moving on to Captain America The Winter Soldier. Again, I'm a massive Captain America fan. And this, this movie... Again, did a really good job. I really liked the opening mission against, like, Batrock or whatever. Or, or I guess not Batrock, but whatever that guy's name was. Much like the Thor to Dark World. It's been a while since I've seen this movie. But I do remember more about this than I did with Thor to Dark World. Anyway, for Captain America and Winter Soldier, I really like, you know, the opening mission with all the agents and Cap himself. And then on top of that, at, there's also, you know, the reveal that a lot of the, like, S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, or who they thought to be S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, were actually spies for HYDRA, like Agent Sitwell, I think is what his name was. And then, obviously, a Brock Rumlow became Crossbones, although that wasn't revealed until a later movie. And... Not to mention, kind of similar to how, like, Iron Man 2 introduced War Machine to the fray. This movie introduced, well, Sam Wilson, a.k.a. the Falcon. And while Falcon was never one of my favorite characters of the MCU, I think nowadays he is really awesome and cares a lot about Captain America. So that's really good. And obviously, this, also, or this movie also reveals that, that Bucky 
aka Captain America's best friend and partner, has actually survived, you know, even after all these years, which is kind of incredible. But, and you know, obviously there's a big battle between them, and in the end, you know, it all ends well, and there's, like, hint that Bucky actually is still deep inside that super soldier that was brainwashed or whatever. So, overall, Captain America and the Winter Soldier, maybe it is because I'm a massive Captain America fan, but overall, I think this movie is really good. Moving on to the Guardians of the Galaxy. So, not much to say about this one. This movie really just introduces all the different Guardians from throughout the galaxy or across the galaxy. And pretty much in the end, you know, they in time, they end up teaming up together and facing off against, you know, Ruin the Accuser and all that other jazz. And, you know, there's just not really much for me to say about this movie. And you guys can... Dislike this all you want. I'm just not a big Guardians of the Galaxy fan. I've just never been a fan. Okay, well, I do like Groot. Groot is always cool. But other than that, I don't really care much for Guardians of the Galaxy, personally. So, yeah, that's just me. But, you know, if you are a big Guardians of the Galaxy fan, then go for it. It's just not for me. Moving on to Age of Ultron. Again, this is an Avengers movie, and I am a big Avengers fan. So, yeah, pretty much this movie was really good in my opinion. I liked how it, you know, continued the continuing like saga of the Avengers, and how all the characters like kind of got upgraded, if you want to call it upgraded. So that's something. And I also like this movie how it introduced both like Scarlet Witch or I guess Wanda. At the time, as well as Quicksilver, I really, really enjoyed you know both those characters. How you know they started off evil, but then eventually became good. But I really, really, really hate that the moment Quicksilver was becoming good, he dies. Like that's really sad to me. Like I hate when people just start becoming good and that's when they die. So sad. But you know those two were really good. Like kind of like heroes turned. I mean, sorry, scratch that. Villains turned heroes. Also really good. And the introduction of a couple new characters, such as, like, the introduction of, like, Ultron as a villain was really cool. I like how, you know, like, they tried to make Ultron, you know, like, to be a protector, but instead the AI went rogue and pretty much, like, took matters into his own, like, like programming or whatever you want to call it. I say programming since Ultron's a robot, but, uh, you know what I mean? And I also really like the introduction of Vision into the MCU. While Vision isn't my favorite MCU character, I do really like him. He is really, really cool. And, yeah. Plus, I think we can all agree that Vision lifting up Thor's hammer is, like, without a doubt, the best scene in the movie. So, overall, Avengers Age of Ultron... I must say, this movie is really good. I really enjoyed it. All the new characters introduced were really good. It had a good, good battle in the end. So overall, thumbs up to Age of Ultron. So far, no Avengers movie has disappointed me. It's safe to say that. And here we are finishing off Phase 2 with Ant-Man. So, here's the thing. I think we can all agree Ant-Man is probably... One of the most, like, you know, not very interesting characters in the MCU. I mean, I personally have nothing against Ant-Man, but compared to some of the other, like, characters that we've got in the MCU, Ant-Man just seems a little underdone. It just doesn't seem to have a lot of action to him. With that aside, I, I do think Ant-Man, this movie specifically, did a pretty good job, you know, we're having, like, Scott Lang start out as, like, a robber to, like, you know, to steal, like, Hank Pym's suit, you know, then ends up meeting Hank Pym himself, who passes on the mantle of hero to him, and, you know, trains him, teaches him everything he needs to know about, like, the Pym particles and all the other things that he needs to know, and... While I do think this movie is funny, it definitely has its humor parts, 
I feel like it's much more humor than it is action. I don't know if that's just me, but I don't know. I mean, overall, though, this movie, while Ant-Man, again, he's not the best MCU character, in my opinion, I do admit this movie was fairly decent for, or, you know, introducing a new character. And on top of that, it's funny, so if you want a Marvel movie to laugh at, then this might be the guy. Whatever case, though, oh, yeah, that's Ant-Man. Overall, well, you know, not the best movie in my opinion, but still, still fairly decent if you want something to laugh at. Alright, pack members, I think I'm gonna end the video here, and fret not, I do have much more Marvel movies to discuss, but I felt like since we're at the 20, or I guess now 21 minute mark, I feel like this is a good, good place to wrap up this video. And again, fret not, I am going to cover the rest of the movies that are out at the moment. But, you know, that's all I'm going to do for this video. So, oh, hope you enjoyed this video and how I felt about each of the Marvel movies so far. And until next time, and until the next video, this is Spirit the Alpha, signing out. I'll see you guys back in the pack.